The general election is fast approaching and already there are allegations of voter intimidation and suppression. Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Rochelle Metzger. Thank you for joining us tonight. Well, some Maryland politicians say Halloween isn't over when it comes to elections because there are efforts underway to trick Democrats into not voting. Patricia Vallone is in Landover with the details. Well, voters are lined up outside of the sports and learning complex in Landover, waiting for their chance to cast their ballot in this year's general election. But just outside of the early voting center, prominent Democrats are warning citizens about potential fraud and voter suppression. It wasn't too long ago, in, just in 2010, uh, that a deliberate attempt was made to suppress the Af African-American vote uh, in Prince George's County and in Baltimore. Uh, Robo calls were made to tens of thousands of African Americans. Voters were told to relax, uh, to stay at home, uh, to watch the returns on the TV because Governor O'Malley and President Barack Obama, who, by the way, as you, we all know, wasn't even on the ballot that day, had already been successful in the day's voting, even though the polls were still open. Uh, these calls were designed uh, and approved by the campaign manager for Ehrlich for Governor campaign and a consultant to the campaign. And the good news is, uh, and demonstrating how serious we take this in Maryland, uh, both of those people were prosecuted uh, and convicted. We've seen around the country uh, cases where people have said to particular Latino neighborhoods, if you come to the polls and you have any immigration issues whatsoever, you know somebody who does, you can and will be arrested. We've seen robocalls and literature sent out throughout the country which says, don't forget to vote on Wednesday. Uh, your vote will count. Well, Wednesday being the day after the elections. Here's a piece of paper being handed out uh, by Mr. Sabani and his supporters. The clear implication being that Barack Obama is for him. That is a lie. That is a misrepresentation. That is a tent to intent to defraud the voters. Well, it wasn't a campaign ad. I mean, it's just, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of enthusiasm today uh, for this election. People are waiting in line to vote early. And uh, Rob Sabani will work with whoever the president of the United States is if he is elected as Maryland's next U.S. senator. Now, election officials are asking residents to report any suspected voter fraud or suppression. From Landover, I'm Patricia Vallone for CTV News. If you suspect voter fraud or abuse, you can call 888-678-VOTE. Well, early voting is convenient, but it may not necessarily save time. Some residents are reporting wait times of up to four hours. Now, when lawmakers is hoping to change that, Senator Jim Rosepep says he will sponsor a bill in the upcoming legislative session that would expand the number of early voting locations around the state. And voters we spoke to say it's a great idea. Being in that line is terrible. Especially uh, uh, more places for the senior citizens to vote without having to stand in line. It's a three hour wait, you know that when you get here. The more people get out to vote, the better it is in the election. I'm glad to see the lines out here today myself. Mm -hmm. Rosa Pep's bill would authorize the local board of elections to open as many early voting locations as they find necessary. Well, today, attorneys representing eight Maryland plaintiffs filed a lawsuit in Anne Arundel County asking the court to clarify the language for passage of Question 7. Attorney Thomas Dernoga, a former county councilman and former delegate, John Levi say the state constitution requires that a majority of qualified voters approve any expansion of gaming. Dernoga says the General Assembly added a provision to the slots bill attempting to loosen the standards by requiring a majority of the total votes cast on election. Election Day. Plaintiff Kelly Canavan is from Prince George's and feels slot supporters are trying to skirt the law. I think it's really um, upsetting that there's the possibility that over such a serious question there's an issue of voter disenfranchisement. Um, the fact that it takes several questions to even understand the issue and to even get to the heart of the issue of why a person's vote might or might not count properly is concerning to me. Well, the very plain language of the Maryland Constitution says that the state cannot um, expand gambling in the state without a majority of the qualified voters in the state or a majority of the registered voters of the state and we are trying to enforce that standard. What the Maryland General Assembly tried to do in August was to lower the standard. This will take a little bit of time but we wanted to get it filed before Election Day um, because 
we, we want to get an injunction uh, preventing the Board of Elections from certifying the results. So things will move quickly after the election has occurred. Plus, I think the public ought to know that there's a question as to how the General Assembly has handled this and rushed it through, and that there could be constitutional rights of the public that are being infringed upon, and the public ought to know that there are other issues about the constitutionality and how the votes are supposed to be counted, um, and that the Attorney General has taken opposite positions on two similar items. Ternoga says it's unclear when he'll hear back from the court, but the injunction filed today seeks to prevent the State Board of Elections from certifying referendum results until a ruling is made on the issue. Well, as Election Day approaches, everyone is weighing in on the candidates, even those too young to cast their ballots. We spoke with students at Charles Herbert Flowers High School in Springdale to get their thoughts on the issues. Obama, he's promising more things than he did last year, like he has the DREAM Act going on in place, which is helping Latinos get into colleges, which they really wanted for a long time. And I think it's finally the chance that we got. Who do you think is going to win? Mitt Romney right now. And why do you say that? Because he's winning. He has 52 percent of votes, and then Barack Obama has 47 percent of votes. I watched a little bit of both debates, and between Mitt Romney and Barack Obama, like, from where I stand, I think that uh, Barack would be a better candidate for president just for the fact that he was president before. And from what I can see, what he's doing with the country is working. And uh, since I don't know much about Mitt Romney and his, uh, and his background, I can't really say for him. Students say they too will be watching the race closely on Election Day. And you're watching CTV News. I'm Rochelle Metzger.